welcome back. It is Thursday's Off the Ball. Nathan with you this evening. It's just gone half seven, and that means John Giles is with us. I'm delighted he's in studio with us this evening. How are you keeping? Okay, Nathan. All good. Birthday celebrations went well, did they? Yeah, yeah. Bit quieter than the idiot. Not, yeah, a little bit more. A little, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Trying to forget about it now. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> uh, we were just uh, cursing the Carabao Cup, uh, which yeah. has at this stage. When it gets to the semi-final final, it gets a bit interesting, but this stage, when you look at the starting 11s, uh, you really get a sense of teams not taking it seriously. Where you won it in 68 yeah, uh, with Leeds, which I think was... Was that the first major trophy of... It was the first major trophy, so it was, it was OK for us, Nathan. You know, like years afterwards, when there were other competitions there, mm. we weren't getting, getting involved in it, really. But it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was OK for us at that particular time because... It was the first trophy we won, uh, but I think years afterwards we didn't t- we 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 did the same as most of the major clubs. We didn't get it too bothered about it, you know. Yeah. So, so even like even then, it was matches. seen it was seen oh, as a yeah, much lesser yeah, thing than the yeah, FA yeah. Cup. Definitely, it was it was okay for us and teams that that you that you you see now, yeah, who want to put put on the show, uh, but for the likes of Man City and Man U, and it's. Uh, it can be a bit of a nuisance, to be quite honest, because there's too too many matches. Well, particularly last night when you're looking at, say, <laughs> Antonio Conte putting out quite a strong Tottenham team, even though they ended up losing to Nottingham Forest, and you're 10 days out from a World Cup and Harry Kane is starting a game like that and Conte saying afterwards, you know, he's looking tired, he was tired in training on it, Tuesday. Well, he would be. You mm. know? I mean, if you've got a World, a World Cup coming up, uh, like the, 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 the league, that particular competition... It's not one of the major competitions, Nathan. You know, you can pretend it is and say, well, you, you can get into this competition if you win that. I mean, I only go back to my time when the first trophy Leeds won, but we'd never won anything else before. So it was a big, it was a big deal yeah, for us. Was a later, later on, uh, like when we were winning the league and FA Cup. major competitions, we, we never won the League Cup again after I got to the final. Because Don Revy, like most of the managers now, rest the players to go for the... Yeah, league and and whatever competitions that we, we were involved in at that particular time. It must be a very stressful period for all those players going to the World Cup because it is a complete unknown that you know we're going to have Premier League games up till mm. Sunday. They go on the flight to Qatar on Monday or Tuesday. The World Cup starts the following yeah. Sunday. That even a slight little strain could end up ruling you out of the tournament. That having to protect yourself is a strange thing for footballers. Well, you shouldn't have to, Nathan. I mean, if it's run properly. You shouldn't have the amount of games that you have mm. now. It's ridiculous. And it's, it's, it's all about money, to be quite honest. And, and if you're in a position as, as an England player now that qualify for the World Cup, and you're, as you say, you're playing in that competition, the last thing you want to do is get, in, get injured coming into it. Well, you shouldn't, you, shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, as a professional, you shouldn't be thinking that way. Mm. Every match should be, be important to go and win something. But, but the fact is, it isn't. Would you ever have thought that way if you were playing Cup Final on the Saturday? You know, coming to an end of a league season, you're thinking, just don't want to. I'm going into this match, just want to get through it. Last thing I want is get injured. It depends what you're playing for. Yeah, Nathan, you know what I mean. Like if 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 in in my day, say for example, we weren't going to win the league, or that, then you'd rest players because you could afford to. You know, you're going to qualify mm. for Europe again, so you wouldn't be in a competition that you were saying, well, we have to win this one, because it didn't mean anything if you're going for the cup final, for example. Like we, 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 at Leeds, we were involved in most most of the things. Uh, for example, in 1972, when we won the cup, we needed a, a match on Monday, a draw, to win the double. So we were go 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 all the way. But it wasn't the League Cup; mm. it was the FA Cup or the League. You yeah, know what I mean, which at the time was which was the really major, kind of power, major yeah. companies. Yeah, well, like like in, I'm talking about from Leeds' point of view. When we got in a position where we were meeting major major competitions, we weren't involved in the League Cup. After that, Don, Don would put the schoolboys out. It wasn't a major competition mm. for what we needed. When we won it first, it was the m- first uh, major competition or competition that Leeds ever won. So it was a big deal. But after that, it wasn't a big deal. So with the likes of Spurs and all the other teams now, Manchester City and uh, like Manchester City, I saw Manchester City, you know, they won well, well, they didn't play that well. But they've got a, 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 a squad that can handle that, mm. you know, so that's okay. But, but mostly the, the, it's, it's not okay for most clubs, and I think particularly for sports, because they don't have such a big squad of players to do it. Uh, Arsenal aren't going away in this Premier League title race. Uh, another big win away against Chelsea. Yeah. 
And do you believe they can keep this going? Well, there's no reason why not. That's up to them. Mm. You know? And the manager, can we do it? Can we not do it? Uh, like, if they're going to be the real McCoy, then they do it. Mm. You know, just because it's your first season doesn't mean you can't do it. If if it's if it's the right one, depends on what Manchester City do. But Are there things along the way that that help you believe, like going to a place like Sanford Bridge when you go back to you know winning a League Cup? It's a stepping stone to greater things. Are there, are there moments over the course of a season that you think actually it's more than three points? We've 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 proved a few things to ourselves today. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the, 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 there's a consistency about it, as we know, because it mm. was, in my day it was forty two matches. There was a consistency about it. We won in nineteen sixty nine. I think we, we were level with with Liverpool at that particular time. Liverpool were probably going off off their best at that time. But we had to go to Liverpool near the end of the season. Uh, I think in 69, we actually won the league at uh, Everton. Uh, sorry, at uh, Liverpool. When Shankly, Shankly, we got a draw at Liverpool. That's what we needed. Uh, and it was the first time Leeds, Leeds won the league. And Shankly came in the dressing room and said, best team lost. Wow! <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, Shankly was he wasn't the best of losers, you know. But and was he was there was it tinged in humour or was he? Uh, he, angry? He, ma- he made it. He made it humorous. Right. But 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 he didn't mean. Deep down, it. you knew. He, <laughs> yeah. and was, was was he right? Well, it's over. For, in those days, it was over forty-two matches. Uh, this was sixty-nine. We'd been promoted for a few years, and Liverpool had been on on top for years. This this was the break, really, in Leeds at Liverpool at that particular time. Mm. And uh, we needed a point to win it at Liverpool, yeah. you know, which is most unusual. Uh, but but that was Shankly, you know, best team, best team lost. But it started a riot. We didn't. We took it for a bit of a laugh. We didn't matter to us because we'd won. You had the medals. We had the medals. <laughs> we had the medals at, at that particular time. Uh, what what did uh, what did Don Revy say when Shankly said that? Well, him and Shankly were big pals actually, and, and apparently Don, like Shankly was a football nut. Mm. Right, great manager as we know but Don used to say when, when we were neck and neck with them like when we got promoted in, in what was it 63, 64 Liverpool were the top team the beaters in the cup in, in 65 quite rightly too were the better team we were doing doing particularly well to match them in a certain way but we got to the stage where we did overtake them and uh, what Don said he used, to, he used to ring Don every Sunday to talk about football not just Liverpool, but but football. Everything that was going on. He was yeah, Don Don said like he was, he, he was he was football fanatic, really. Shankly, you know. So but, did uh, it mean more then to Revy actually because they were close? I would say so. I mean, if you're going to beat Liverpool, you're beating the best. Yeah. You know, and he did. He did like when we we won that day. Actually, we, we when we we got a draw. We think we needed a draw to win it. It was in 60, 69. We went to the cup end, and they were great. You know, they took it well. They gave us a good cheer and, and all that. Although when we, when we were driving away, we got a brick through the window. <laughs> all right. In the coach. So, wow. So, the, so that was that was that wasn't a good side. But 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 Shankly did come into the dressing room. As I say, he was a football night nut, and uh, he did say, "Well done." And that. It, it was obviously a, a very different time, and you talk about the the warm welcome you received inside the ground at Anfield. What was the worst ground to play at? Um. Well, it depends what you mean by the worst ground. You know, like in well, those probably there was quite a few. The pitches were terrible, but in terms of intimidating atmosphere, what was the one you? Well, well, Leeds got promotion. Leeds were nowhere, right, till they got promotion mm. in the first division. And one of our first matches was at Man U, actually, and we beat Man U at Man U, and we we then suddenly became a big rival, uh, and that was bitter mm. over over the years. The, Still is. Well, any any time there's there's somebody challenging one of the big clubs, it's going to be bitter. You know that's the way it is. Uh, Liverpool was the same. You know we challenged Liverpool because they were the top dogs. Man U were the top dogs, and we challenged them, and it became pretty, pretty, uh, pretty poor mm. at that, that time because Leeds came from nowhere. Really, you know, we, 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 we Leeds had never won anything. Nathan, we got when I first went to Manchester United, you know, we 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 got promotion. And then we finished runners up in the cup and the league, so immediately we were challenging Manchester United and yeah. Liverpool. So it took a few years before we uh, overtook Manchester United, and then 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 it became fierce 
really fierce, particularly between Leeds and Manchester United. And did you like that sort of atmosphere? I didn't mind it. It was, it was what you had to do. I mean, I was, I was coming back for the first time uh, to Old Trafford to play uh, and I got a bit of stick from... Oh, yeah? Support. I mean, you, but so what? You know, when, when you give you it back to them? Well, we won the match. <laughs> That's the best way of giving it back. But you, you expect it, you know. So, yeah. so what? If, if, if it, a team or a crowd is booing you and that, you're not hurting you. You know what I mean? You just get on with it and do what you have to do. What you have to do. And the, the main thing is winning winning the match. But I never made... I must be honest now, I didn't go to the crowd at the start end and I just took it. Yeah, you weren't giving them... No. Telling them to quieten down? No, no. You, the, the, the fans react in that way. Actually, the players don't. You're getting on with you your job. You block it out. You're getting out with your job. You're getting on with your job. And that's it. Because we, we got promotion that year and then we went to Old Trafford and we actually won the first match at Old Trafford. And we became rivals even in the first season to Manchester United. Now, if you finish middle of the league, right, you're, there's, there's never any, never any problem. Yeah, you're taking that as a compliment. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the way it was. Uh, to bring it all back then, it, it feels as though Arsenal are in that sort of cycle right now that, you know, yeah, yeah. teams don't like them. Fa- opposition fans are starting, you know, there's, yeah, there's well, something about they will, them. They will do, Nathan. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll find something to boo them about and all that. But it's up to, up to Arteta ta- our and the players now to say, can we do it? Get on and do it. I mean, nobody can stop you. The crowd at Manchester United, because they're against you, or Liverpool are against you, doesn't can't stop you from doing it. Mm. You know, if you go to Liverpool as a professional football, you go and do it. That's that's one thing I always found with with the, with the crowd. The crowd can influence the referee more than the opposition. You know, because you're a professional footballer, you can't come on the pitch and kick you. They can't mm. come in and stop a goal. Right? They can they can cheer their team on. But I think that that's what I always felt about playing home and away in the crowd. It's good to have them behind you, all right. But they, they don't co- close. They used to say, you are still saying now, well, the, the, the cop, you know, pull the, pull, pull the ball into the yeah. back of the net. They don't. You know, and when I always felt playing, this is my attitude too, when I was playing, if I was playing with Leeds and I was having the ball in the middle of the field and I was going to hit, knock the ball out to Eddie Gray, the crowd can't stop you doing that. Yeah. Mostly when they, they can influence the referee if there's a penalty decision, and not, not the Liverpool, anywhere. That's the biggest thing you can do. You know, and the, the rest of it is an attitude of mind. Because what you'll find with crowds, if the opposition is doing well, they turn on their own crowd. Mm. And that's what you've got to make them do. You know? It's hard to find too much fault with what Mikel Arteta is doing at the moment. He's made good signings yeah. during the summer. He's making players better. If you look at the young players who are coming through, all seem to be emerging. And he's also revitalising some players. Like Granit Xhaka is a player we've spoken about for yeah. years at Arsenal. I know you're very frustrated with him at times and yeah. the way he'd behave. He looks a completely different character on the pitch and in the way yeah. he's approaching the game. Yeah, I think he's done a good job. And he needed that time. You know, Arsenal was a big job. Uh, and I think he's done a good job so far. Now, it depends how they go from there. Because once you're in that position of being potential winners, mm. now you're into a different game again. And so far, they've responded pretty, pretty well. There's no doubt about that. But you'll have to wait and see then. How's it going to finish? That this is the important time when you get into that situation where you're potential winners. It's up to you to do it when you, when you have to do it. Can they do it? Only he knows. Only the players know. But they are in a position now that they've never been in a position before mm. with the manager. So that's progress. Uh, Aston Villa playing Manchester United tonight in the Carabao Cup. Obviously, much changed teams from the weekend. Uh, but Unai Emery's come in. I don't know how much credit you can give him uh, for what Aston Villa did well, the weekend. The former Arsenal manager. Uh, does it ram home, though, the, the way Villa performed in that game, that Steven Gerrard wasn't the man for the job? Well, it, 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 it's, it's impossible to know, Nathan, to be honest. But I wouldn't say the new manager had any great influence in them performing the way they did. I think the the with um, uh, Gerard leaving would have more influence in it, in the thing. What I read about Gerard in when he was at Villa, he, he did seem to be very harsh on the players. I remember him seeing him afterwards said, "Well, I've got to get. I had to get into their into the their ribs mm. and make sure they didn't that." And unless you, unless you're inside the club, you don't know. 
what happened. So what, you, what you could just be misread. Actually, maybe that's not what the players needed. Um, I, I can only give you my take on yeah. it, right? That uh, when I was in in managerial situation with the Irish team, I never ever got onto a player in front of the other players, and I certainly never got onto the players publicly, right? In my opinion, what you do is you alienate those players, right? So you make it between you and them. You let them know, this is what I don't want you to do, this is what I do want you to do, I don't want any nonsense in that. But that's between you and them. But I think with any situation with a player, or anybody, if you humiliate them in a certain way, you get, I, in my opinion, you get a bad response. Not just from the player, but from the other players as well. And I'm only going from something that I think. Because they're think, thinking it could be me next. Yes. And I think... I think, anyway, that Gerard got into that position. And what happens then is you, you get him, F him, right? Rather than, I'm going to play for him, right? I, I think Ferguson was, was tough on the players. But if you look at Martin, he was in a different situation. I mean, Ferguson made a lot of changes every year, Nathan. Mm. You know, like, he made a lot of changes, good changes, uh, but... And he, and he brought a lot of youngers with Beckham and Skulls and that. So you can manage them in a certain way. But I think if you manage players, again, in my opinion, that you're publicly criticising them, it doesn't work. Uh, well, speaking of that, and actually, I don't know, I, I'll, I'll throw this one at you. Have you read the uh, excerpts from Martin O'Neill's book? I haven't read it yet. All no. right, well, we'll, no. we'll, we'll come back to that. He's, uh, he, he's not happy about his time in Ireland and the lack of uh, credit he got and the lack of respect he got from his time managing Ireland. From the players? Or for the, from, the, uh, from the media and from everybody else, I think. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we'll, you can have a read of it and we might come back to it over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, OK, yeah. Uh, has a bit of a chip in his shoulder, I think it's fair to say. Uh, we're tight enough on time. Uh, the other big game was obviously Liverpool winning away at Tottenham. Um, Tottenham missing an awful lot of players at the moment, while Liverpool were missing a few as well. Yeah. Does it... Does it tell you much more about either team? Um, fr from what I saw of the match, um, Liverpool, uh, sorry, Spurs started very, very mm. badly and Liverpool took advantage of it. But then they really came back at the Spurs. You know, it's a very difficult si situation at, at Liverpool at the moment. You know, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's, it's not the Liverpool we know. Uh, when it came to the big match, they performed against Manchester City... And uh, and I used to find player that when when you're in a situation like Liverpool is in, when you're playing what's considered to be a bottom team, you actually have to Carry get yourself up, up for it. Yeah, right. You have to scare. See, when you're playing Manchester City, oh, you're you're naturally scared, Nathan. Right, you're nervous, and that gets you gets you up, right, naturally. But when you're playing against one of the bottom teams, now you've got to get yourself up. And I'm talking about my own experience. Mm. My experience playing against one of the bottom teams. The only way you can beat us today is if we don't have the same attitude as you, right? So do you look at Liverpool in a totally different way now to six months ago, where you could trust them going into every oh, game? Definitely, definitely. Because the great thing about football is, if it's not right, you lose matches. If it is right, you win matches. Now there's no doubt something has been wrong with Liverpool in relation to where they have been in the last two or three three years they're losing matches that in the previous seasons they would never have lost what are they 15 10 15 points behind the, the leaders that doesn't happen by accident you know could it be that uh, uh, the, 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 the big Salah, Salah has, has, has got a new Manning contract leaving. Could it, you, know, you, you don't know you, you have to be in there to know because what's morale morale is, a, is where everybody's pulling together this is what you do I mean, I played for the Leeds team. The morale was great, you know. Everybody did. Don was great. The players, we went out to win every match that we could. We didn't. But we were there for 10 years uh, because, now, we didn't have any... Say the situation arose where Billy Bremner got a, a new contract that was 50% bigger than ours. How would you react? You know, it didn't happen. Not that I know. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> but if it did, you'd say, well, what's, what's going on? You know, like we're all we're all in it together here. Yeah. Right now, somebody is getting fifty percent more than anybody else, or whatever it was more than anybody else. It, it's very difficult to explain what morale is. Morale is generally all the players like the manager; they're happy with what they're doing, and then we're all going together. But you know, when it's not there. But you don't, that's it. It's very fragile. 
to get to get morale in a way that everybody's working together, going for the manager, going for what needs to be done. And I don't know, I think the, where manager, the players might say at Liverpool, look what we've done over the years. Once you've done what you've done, you start again. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything, Aidan. You've got to start again. Last season, it doesn't mean... As I was saying in football, the next match is the most important match. Yeah. Not last year. What we did last year, it's gone. It's gone. And what you've done last year, now you've got to go again, even harder. You know, because everybody's going to be chasing you. So what happened? I don't know what's happened. But Liverpool is... The great thing about football and sports, but football generally I'm talking about, is what you see, you see on the pitch. Mm. You can't hide it. It's either right or it's not right. But it, it expresses itself, if that's the right word, on the pitch. Fortunately, we've got to leave it there, John. Very tight for time uh, this evening. But thanks a million for coming in. We'll talk to you again next Thursday. Yep. Okay, Nathan. Uh, John Giles with us every Thursday. If you miss any of that, you can get the full podcast on the Podcast Network. We'll take a quick break.